Nations, Peacekeeping Jean Pierre Lacroix, and Tuesday briefed the members of the UN Security Council and noted that nine months are left before Sudan goes to the polls in December. But the country, according to him, is not ready to hold elections. Observing that, a lot, of, a lot more needs to be done. He said that if the parties display, get the political will and invest adequate resources, credible elections can still take place before the end of the transition periods. Our reporter, Ezra Dijane, tells us more of that in this report. Political conflict compounded by economic woofs and drought has caused massive displacement in South Sudan. The country has also witnessed raging violence and their food shortages. Over 7 million people, about two-thirds of the population, are in need of food aid, including around 6.9 million people experiencing hunger, briefing the Security Council after a visit to South Sudan in February. Lakura said that while some leaders of the SPLM is said to be confident in organizing credible elections. Others, including the country first vice president, Machar, expressed their doubts. While leaders of SPLM express confidence on achieving a critical mass on implementation towards credible elections, SPLM IO, including first vice president Machar, expressed its doubts and insisted that all prerequisite for elections, particularly the, pa the passage of a permanent constitution and completion of the transitional security arrangements, must precede the conduct of the electoral process. Lakua also informs the Council about the prevailing political tension in the country, which have reportedly instigated communal classes and other forms of violence. Political competition amongst the ruling elite increased intercommunal clashes and the added strain inflicted by the influx of returnees and refugees escaping the conflict in Sudan <laughs> have all combined towards an assessment that elections, when held, are going to take place in an environment of elevated tensions and a constrained civic and political space in the country. Therefore, if not managed caref carefully, they carry the potential for violence with disastrous consequences for an already fragile country and a wider region. During his visit to the East African nation, Lakura managed to engage with the country's leaders, state authorities, civil society, United Nations mission in South Sudan, peacekeepers, humanitarian partners, and members of the press. These discussions are held against a complex regional backdrop with the ongoing instability in the neighboring Sudan which has resulted in some 560,000 returnees and refugees entering South Sudan, creating a need for increased humanitarian assistance and raising protection concern. General elections were scheduled to be held in South Sudan by 9 July 2015, the first since independence. However, in light of an alleged coup d'etat attempt and continued conflict in the country, this has been thrown into doubts, especially since no permanent constitution has been formulated. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am I